Today we're studying a simple model for the Argon railgun. We have six magnets above and below providing a permanent magnetic field north to south. And we have two pieces of copper horizontally arranged inside the tube so current can flow from plus to minus left to right at 40 kilovolt DC. And you can see the arcs are going very strongly from right to left. When we reverse the polarity of the DC, now you can see the arcs are going the other direction. So what we've done now is to pack all three sets of magnets close up against one another, holding them together with tape, and you can see an excellent result. And with almost no argon gas going through it, very slow flow rate. Look at how the arcs accelerate. We can also use very thin strips of aluminium, which work very well. Now here are those same copper bars and magnets in a smaller tube, and you can see they just yield one arc coming out the top of the tube, but it's not being released. If you look closely, you can see it's blue on one side, white on the other. The argons are on one side, the electrons are on the other. Now in our previous design, we only had three magnets. And we didn't get full release of iron from the end of the electrodes. Now I've added four, so the magnetic field extends further down past where the electrodes end. And now you see you get much better release of iron without them getting stuck at the end. When we reverse the DC polarity for this four magnet rail gun, you can see the arcs really like to shoot from left to right, upstream against the floor of argon gas. And here we have a slightly larger version of the same railgun with four magnets. You can see now the ions are being released quite nicely if the electrodes are still in the magnetic field. When we reverse the DC polarity, now you can see arcs shoot out from left to right, showing how much power there is in this gun. Now I have added a fifth set of magnets, so the rails are covered practically everywhere, and we get a very strong release of ions from the ends of this device. You can see now with five sets of magnets, we're getting a tremendous acceleration of argon, even at very low flow rates, where practically no gas is flowing through the tube. When we have five sets of magnets and flip the polarity the other way, you can see the argon ions will flow opposite the direction of flow of gas to the tube. Then when we flip the polarity forward again with low argon gas, you can see how much acceleration we're getting of the ions. Five magnets, 40 kilovolt DC. When we increase the flow rate a little bit with these five magnets in a row covering all of the copper rails in a bit, then we essentially get a rocket flame itself. You see the blue color from argon?